Hey guys, uh, welcome to another ITL. I thought I would go over some uh, elements of distortion. This will uh, be more an introductory thing to distortion. Um, distortion is basically, uh, like we said several times, it's a bad term because it, it implies like the elephant man or something. And really, it, distortion is uh, a rich collection of harmonics. It, it's, it's like harmonic distortion. Uh, sometimes called THD, total harmonic distortion, which is a, a measure of, of um, the amount of, of harmonic coloration, you, 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 and, and it's described in terms of first order, second order, third order, blah, 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 blah. Uh, go to Google, type in uh, audio distortion. The first four or five uh, pages that come up have real good stuff. I'm going to show you one of them. This is, uh, uh, Will's going to put up the website. It's like a third or fourth one, but uh, there's a lot of good information here, um, and we're not going to delve in that today, but um, uh, if you notice, basically he says that uh, Moyer has found that distortion due to clipping of a 4 millisecond tone burst reached about 10% before it was detectable, but increasing the pulse length to 20 milliseconds reduced the just detectable distortion point to around 0.3%. That's Think about that. That's that's a that's a pretty bold statement. So um, let me show you something else. What we have here is this is a this is a basic square wave and then a little bit of a sine wave. Uh, it's the same thing as here, but this is the website, and uh, I just wanted you to see it clearly. Now on this green um, wave, this is the same wave as above, except this green wave. Uh, has gone through a high-pass filter. But Dave, a high-pass filter isn't distortion. Yes, it is. It's distorting the wave. You see, you see what's happening to this square wave? It's sloping down. That's, a, that's what a high-pass filter does to, to the sound. It, it, it can actually be a distortion. Uh, the, the blue and the purple one is a low-pass filter. Now, um, you can see this, this represents a capacitor, this is a, uh, this is a resistor. We call this an RC network. It's a time constant network that's used a lot in electronics. And um, in, in this way, the, 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 it's shunting certain frequencies to ground through this circuit. You don't need to know that, I'm just showing off. Uh, now on the pink one, <clears throat> that would be characteristic of a tube circuit. Now a, a tube circuit has a low amount of, of, of harmonics are generated in that circuit so that that's actually adding distortion but over the time we, we, over time we, we consider that color and in, in in the analog world color is good in the digital world for some reason color is bad don't know why I never got the memo uh, and then the orange one is um, a hard clip now when you when you clip the sound, you're, you're generating harmonics, you're generating color, and that's what the orange one is, is showing you. You can tell that by, by this, the graph here, as opposed to this graph. Okay, enough technical stuff. Basically, what all we give a crap about is what it sounds like. Uh, I'm going to play some examples from something I just recently mixed with the artist Dream. Uh, some of these... Uh, some of these settings I inherited from Pat Thrall, who's an incredible engineer, producer, extraordinaire, and so, um, thank you, Pat. I'm, I'm using some of the plugins that, that you that you gave me. Some of them I'm, uh, are things I added myself. Um, <clears throat> here's a little a little extra vocal. <laughs> was in the crack. This is it. Okay. Now, now what, what we added was a limiter. Our old buddy just to take out a little bit of a little bit of twelve fifty. And then um a little EQ. Now that's pretty cool, but now I added the fuss box. Cool. And then, with the, and then with a little delay.
Okay, that's one use of of, um, of distortion. Now let's see. Let's look for a bright blue track. Here we go, kick drum. Now what I did on this kick drum was it, it, it was pretty good. So let's take this stuff off. Uh, this is without anything. Now I added the, the Kramer Waves Kramer PIE. Things magical. Waves API. Now to add a little distortion, I'm using the Massey Tape Head plugin. Watch. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then and then our old buddy Stephen Slate add a little bit of uh, the trigger, and then here's my parallel path feeding from here to here. Nothing radical on the on the parallel path. But then we're adding. Okay, so you can see how that 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 uh, Massey plugin was was adding a little bit of tape distortion. Now the analog guys prefer not to call it tape distortion; it's tape color. Sorry. Okay, now here's a synth that we had in the track. Pat had a pitch, pitch blender. Remember, Pat did this for me. I think it's me because it's my rap squash setting. And then a little E6. Now I wanted to add a little color, so what I did was I I, I copied the track. I think I did this. Pat might have done it, but but what's important is this is an overdrive distortion guitar pedal from Waves. So let's add that in. Without it. With it. Only it. Okay, so you can see you can see how we're using distortion to to add some color, add some clarity, help your ear find it. Um, one last one. This is a synth part. And this is a different kind of distortion. Um, this, this, um, I thought that was pretty good. So our old buddy Matthew Lang, the the, the Doctor MS plugin. Uh, this is a preset of mine. I, this is adding a little bit of color and distortion and. Middle side manipulation. Then I use the double lock. This is um, sound toys. This is basically an emulation of an over compressed mic, but with a cheap compressor, and it creates harmonic distortion. Watch this. So you see here, we're talking about color. We're talking about colors. Now I'm going to load up another session, so if you'll hang on a minute, Will.